When starting out your journey as a print-on-demand seller, I understand that it can be so overwhelming trying to figure out what products you should be selling, which supplier you should be using, how to personalize your products, and most importantly, how to make sure that you are profitable. These are questions I get asked daily, whether on my Instagram or TikTok. So I figured I would do a quick video tutorial for you guys to help you along the way. Also, the great news is that now you can actually do it all inside Printify itself. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you three bonus feature that Printify just released to help you figure out what to sell, which suppliers are reliable, how to personalize your listing, and I'm gonna also reveal a bonus feature which they just released. So without further ado, let's dive in so I can help you understand how to navigate through it all. So guys, the struggle is real. You might have seen on Etsy that comfort colors are all the rage and selling like hotcake, but whenever you find yourself going on Printify, and going through their catalog while well, you can't seem to figure out which ones are the comfort tees. So if we go under women's t-shirt, it's overwhelming because there's just so many choices. So you actually want to pick the best sellers. This is the comfort color. But then um, back in the day when we had to choose, we essentially had to go through the list of the network to go through all the different print on-demand suppliers that they're working with in order to make a decision as to who we want to work with. Well, the beauty is now Printify does it for you with Printify Choice, which is them encouraging you to use their trusted network of quality providers. So these are providers who are top rated, have the lowest prices, are going to be able to ship for you as fast as possible and have good shipping options within the US, right? Obviously, depending on where you are predominantly selling. So this is such an amazing feature that they just rolled out because it's going to save you time so you can really focus on what actually matters, which is start designing. So I'm going to share with you another cool feature that they just introduced recently. If like me, you spend a lot of time on Etsy, which I assume you probably do because you're watching this channel, you'll have noticed that these Roman numeral are all the rage. This particular bundle t-shirt has already generated 7,000, well, it's generating $7,000 plus um, in the last eight months. So this is something that has to be personalized. And a lot of time I get asked, well, how exactly do I personalize an item like this? Well, let me show you. So if we go ahead and start designing, we can actually pick a font directly from Printify. And if you're like me and you're not really good at figuring out Roman numerals, you can simply go on ChatGPT and ask it to do that for you, to translate it in Roman numeral. I learned this in school some time ago, but I've forgot it all, right? My brain is not able to have so much useless information. So needless to say, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and make it like this. And then the beauty is that once I save this product, I'm gonna go ahead and have to obviously add um, the mockups. So I'll go ahead and show it in granite. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the mockups that I want to have. Then I'm gonna save the selection. But this is what I, the part that I wanna show you that's actually a complete game changer. Now you can enable personalization, guys. And this is a complete game changer because back in the day, um, you essentially had to go through your approval order and have it set up manually. But now you no longer have to do that. So all your orders that are not personalized you can go ahead and um, have them be automatic because before you had to do it all throughout your store. So you're going to enable personalization. And now every time that you get a brand new order, you're just going to go directly into Printify and you're going to add the Roman numeral of um, the customers that's actually purchasing the item. Another thing worth noting, obviously, once you get a little bit more seasoned, you can actually also create personalization that has more elements by using 
either anywhere POD or Hello Custom, I don't recommend that you include that right away. Make sure first that you are getting traction and getting sales. So this is a great way to kind of start getting your feet wet and provide your customers with a personalized version without hurting your wallet, if you will, right? And so once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and publish it. But guys, like this is a game changer because I know that a lot of you shied away in the past from doing personalization because you felt like it was overwhelming. And now Printify makes it so much easier for you. And again, we know that this is a bestseller. So there's opportunity to um, create something like this, right? Or obviously adding other elements as well. So you differentiate yourself from your competitors. So needless to say, no more excuses. Now you guys have to upload personalized listing. The next question I often get asked is what about profit margins, especially when you notice on Etsy that a lot of sellers are undercutting each other for pricing. However, you have to be conscientious of the fact that a lot of these sellers are hiding prices by making some of their smaller shirts actually cheaper and then their regular sizes, you'll notice that they have a larger price. Additionally, they always majority of them charge shipping. So that's actually something worth noting. And a lot of these apparel sellers on Etsy are a little bit more seasoned. And what they're doing is that they are having more competitive prices in order to rank their listings. And once they've ranked their listings, they start slowly increasing. So now let's go back to you, right? Let's go back to the Printify dashboard. So once you created, um, added your personalization, make sure that you have the shipping option turned on because you want your customers to actually pay for shipping. And now Printify came out with a profit calculator. You can also turn on your Etsy um, offsite ads. You have the option to provide your customers with free shipping, which I don't recommend that you do. Um, within Etsy, anything that's apparel or something that's a lighter item, you are allowed to charge for shipping, shipping anything that's below $6. So that's totally fine. And I highly recommend that you charge for shipping. So if you actually open up this profit calculator, it's going to give you a breakdown of the Etsy fee, let's listing fees, transaction fee, processing uh, fee as well. So you can have an understanding of what your profit is going to be. Now, overall, I recommend that you have a profit margin anywhere between 30 to 40 percent, right? Um, however, when you are going after apparel, you have to remember that you're going more for volume because a lot of folks will buy multiples. So you're going more for volume and also understanding that you do need to be conscientious of what your competition is doing. Now, because this item is personalized, you can charge a little bit more. But for something as competitive as the Roman numeral, I would start with a profit margin of 25%. Yes, the profit is only $7. But again, you guys, you have to remember that, especially when you're doing apparel, people are buying bulk, right? So it's all about the bulk game, knowing that they're going to buy multiple for especially if it's um, a couple, they're going to buy usually two. So this is where you are going to be able to charge both times for shipping. And instead of selling just one shirt, you're making, you're selling two, right? Needless to say, like this has made it so much easier for you to have an understanding of all the different fees that are involved. Um, and you can also include the offsite ad fee. In this case, um, you turn it on like this. And then it's going to include as well the um, offsite ad fee. So you have a better understanding. Obviously, you can turn this off as well and turn it off on Etsy. But this way you have a better understanding of uh, what those are. And by the way, what the Etsy offsite ads are, a lot of people turn them off. But something worth noting is that this is giving the opportunity for folks who found your listing but did not purchase it. So this is when Etsy actually retargets your customer across multiple websites, whether it's Facebook, Google, Pinterest. So this is an opportunity for you to continue bringing customers in, right? So I recommend that when you're starting out, you leave them on because you're only going to get charged offsite ads a majority of the time for items where, where customers actually went on your listing and they're getting retargeted, right? So needless to say, yes, with um, shirts and apparel, it's a little bit more competitive, but however, the opportunities are there because you are working with folks or customers who are going to be um, 
buying more than one item. So this profit calculator, needless to say, is a game changer because it gives you a really good insight of how much profit you're gonna make for your specific product. You can also include the Etsy upside ads and then, or turn them off depending on whatever you wanna do. And then you simply publish your listing. So it's never been so easy um, and so fast to publish a listing that includes personalization, right? Like, I mean, back in the day, uh, you know, there were a lot of different processes involved. And so once you get an order, you'll go ahead and see your order right here under your orders, and you'll just simply change the design and go ahead and process it. Now on Etsy, sometimes having an edge with a product can make all the difference, like these hooded blankets, which allow you to have a little bit more profit margin, or even these personalized tumbler, which have generated as much as $8,000 plus in revenue. Now you might be scratching your head when you are inside the Printify catalog trying to figure out where these are. Well, they just came out with this new feature, which is early access. And in it, you will see a list of uh, brand new print on demand products that they continue on releasing like this insulated travel mug, which is essentially like a travel mug. So these are selling like hot cake, for instance. And you also have access to these woven blanket, which have really good profit margins and other series of products like um, these uh, phone skins. And we also have, if we scroll down, oh yeah, these um, flasks as well do really well. Pet bowls as well could be a great idea. We also have these like big insulated tumblers. So there's uh, plenty to choose from. And these wooden hooded blankets, which I saw, oh, they're in the last page here. So these um, hooded blankets as well. So you have a plethora of products that you can leverage. They even have some stockings, uh, even for pets that you could go ahead and sell during the holiday season. So this new early access, I recommend that you check on often especially if you're not getting much traction with some of these other products, because sometimes that can really help you give you an edge. Or if you already have a winner, including that winning design and other products. So now Printify has done an amazing job making it extremely easy for us to navigate. They even have this embroidery feature since we know embroidery is also all the rage on Etsy. So you no longer have any excuses, guys. Everything is at your disposal directly within Printify. Now it's about you doing the work and uploading those listings away. You have access to the product. You know what kind of products you can sell along with Printify giving you a list of recommendation. Plus, most importantly, now you can personalize it directly within Printify and have access to different types of products. So no more excuses. You guys have everything at your disposal to go ahead and start uploading those listings. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. I hope that you found this video helpful. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section what you're struggling with. I also have a very active Facebook group. The purpose of the free community is to help you along the journey. We have an active group of folks who share what they're going through or give their personal insights. So this is a great way for you to be part of a community so you know what is currently working. Needless to say, I'm here to help you along your journey and I can't wait to hear about your results. I'll see you guys in the next video.